Hundreds of people showed up tonight voicing their concerns, but the district says they are just following California law. This is hate. This is hate. An explosive Glendale Unified School Board meeting Tuesday night with arguments both inside and outside of the boardroom. So you're Parents, community members, and students all voicing their thoughts on the district's curriculum and policies relating to gender identity, with some people disapproving. They are saying boys can be girls and girls can be boys. This is a lie. And others supporting the district. I stand with the school board to make our schools welcome and safe for all students. LGBTQ plus included. They against parents. Our, excuse me, I have the podium. I would appreciate your respect, sir. A main topic was the district's policy regarding transgender students in locker rooms. I had a son that spent a considerable portion of the year disrobing in the same locker room as a biological female and was never told. However, district officials say they are simply following California law. Their statement saying, quote, California law requires that students shall have access to the restroom and locker room that corresponds to their gender identity asserted at school. And district officials say all locker rooms are equipped with private changing rooms for students, too. When are you going to admit the next Another topic came from a special needs student and her mom, who claim sexual acts were discussed during a sex ed lesson in her special needs classroom. The young girl spoke about it at the last school board meeting, and it created a firestorm, prompting the school to send an email to all parents. Your school teachers? are harassing an already marginalized child, a disabled child with a brain injury. District officials say they investigated the allegations and say, quote, at this time, we have not found evidence to support any of the allegations made at the Glendale City Council meeting. They also say parents can view the material ahead of time and opt their kids out of sex education classes. <laughs> The school board meeting, with countless outbursts and outrage, lasted well into the evening until every person who wanted to speak took the podium. And the school board meeting is still going on at this hour right now. The public comment portion started around 5 o'clock this afternoon and lasted until around 9 o'clock this evening. And then after that, the school board had to move on to other agenda items. So again, they are still meeting right now. I'll send it back to you.